uh, Jim Kerr. Jim, there have been benefits for the anti-apartheid movement before, but certainly nothing on this scale. How did this one come about? Um, I guess this time last year was when the first, um, you know, mention of it came, uh, came to me through a phone call from Jerry, Jerry Dammers. And in fact, yeah, June last year, he had a plan to try and stage a um, big, big concert in Wembley. And the projected date was sometime in uh, September of last year. Um, I admired his sort of uh, enthusiasm, but uh, doing a concert on this scale, like you say, you know, Wembley and TV and radio, I knew that three months was not enough, not to mention the fact that he hadn't really contacted any of the, the kind of bands that you need to sell out a place like, like Wembley. So, on one hand, I said, you know, enthusiasm's great, but I, I, feel, I feel it's a joke to try and be, you know, realistic here. Why don't you go away and come back? He did a matter of three or four months later, and um, he had a much better plan. He also had, a, had a, a promoter for a start, and Tony Hollingsworth, who had the experience of the CND festivals. And also, he wanted to make the first open air concert of the 1988 season. And he had a name and a face to match the concert as opposed to just being an anti-apartheid concert. He wanted to use the name of uh, Mandela and coincide it with um, 70 years old, his birthday, and the fact that he'd been in jail for 25, for 26 years. So showing a good sense of uh, public relations and newsworthiness as well there. Yes, I think you had a, just much more of a focus and a concept uh, for the concert. But you've done almost more than anyone else here today. Uh, you've even prepared a record, Mandela Day. Yeah, it's funny, when, uh, when they got in touch with us, they said, I admired their, their cheek. They said, yeah, can you play? And not only can you play, can you have some special guests? Can you do a short set and do some, uh, some cover versions? And uh, while you're at it, can you write a song? I looked at them like, well, yeah, what else would you like? But uh, yeah, I think we've managed to, to pull that off. Um, and as late as uh, two weeks ago, it's true, we did manage to, our guitar player was playing around the very last day of our time in the studio. He pulled some chords out the air and I had a few lines at the forefront of my mind um, because I'd been reading a book that week on Mandela. And I think we managed to come up with the fastest ever, you know, that for us in writing a song. We did a demo of the song um, and let, let the radio people hear it. And um, the reaction's been, been great, which makes it easier for us because it means when we go on stage today, people will, you know, should know the song. Jim Kerr of Simple Minds, and they will be on stage at around seven o'clock this evening. Okay! 